Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new demo. We have lots of new stuff today. I think we're going to start off with the brand new black line chest. Of which I only have two. Well that's problematic. <laughs> Oops. Be -do 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 -do. No one to support yeah. I shouldn't do that, I just <laughs> pulled my hair so it looked decent for a video. <laughs> Goodbye music. I am sorry. Okay, hey guys and welcome back again to a brand new video. Today we have quite a few new things, but we are gonna start off with the new winged reverie black line chest uh, so here we have what do we have that's new the draconic weapons we have the blood flame sword returning from the previous chest but also the winged reverie skiff skin that we're going to be hoping to get there's also the equinox weapon sets with the glyph of industry and the glyph of flight anything else interesting the advanced cloth the flaxy the elderwood and the mithril nodes i think that's about it um it might be nice to get a vintage black line weapon box as well but we have 50 keys, I intend to use 25, or maybe 27 if I haven't got the skiff by then. Uh, so yeah, I think that's about it. Inventory's a bit messy, but let's just dive in. Oh, and we have Potion of the Mist Reward, which is actually a really nice guaranteed unlock, especially in the likes of a festival, I think, right? Uh, which is right now. Depends on the reward festival, but like for new things it's handy or if you have lots of I don't think this is the best festival one but especially for going through like the draconic sort of uh, power-ups to get free keys they're handy that's what I'll say give you both PvP and world world uh, boosts anyway back into the actual opening of the black line chest not much so far, except we got the Wind Reverie Skiff skin after just six keys. Wow. That is awesome. That looks really cool. Uh, let's keep going for the rest of the 25 just will do. Seeing as we already have the item that I'm, I'm looking for. Oh, wow. That was very early on. Normally it's like 20 keys in that you get that. Okay, we also got a weapon unlock, which is very nice. Uh, we're getting more material bags here. Probably move this over a bit. Uh, oh, we got what do we get there? The Elderwood logging node. That is awesome. Whoa, I haven't had one of them for ages. There were 56 gold. Very handy. Very handy indeed. And we got another. We got the flaxseed. What is happening here? Flaxseed is worth 60 to 70 gold. This is a phenomenal opening. So it is. Absolutely phenomenal. Let's see what else we can't get here. Another five keys for this batch. I don't even know if I want to open them. I've already had such good luck. Wow. I'm kind of amazed by that. Two more keys left. We're not really getting anything else of note, but damn, was that a good opening. That's the 25 keys. We got 15 transmutation charges. We'll use them straight away. We got our potion of the mist reward. Uh, we have four Ice Brute Saga material bags. We'll go through them in a minute. I can't, I still, like, really? Two rares and an uncommon. That's pretty good. Uh, so yeah, let's go for the dies first. No, I don't want to destroy. I want to open. Okay, and here are the dies that we got. We got the sarcophagus die. That's worth 125 or 4 gold. But I don't have it, so we shall unlock it. Got black cherry, which is just a little under 3 copper. Or copper? Silver. So is celery is under 60 copper there. We've got bronze, tang, and pastel as well. Is that pastel honey? There you go. 
Let's go for the material bags from your marches. That's all these here. So we've got some elder, we've got some scales, we've got an amalgamated draconic lodestone, which is handy. Pretty decent. Uh, we'll go for the tier four, or that's tier six, isn't it? And tier five materials there, also quite handy. Let's go for the guaranteed weapon unlock, for which we've got the emissary staff. Very nice. I actually need to look at staffs today for the new staff, so let's throw on our staff if we have one. Do we have one? Great sword. We don't have a staff on? Why do I not have a staff on a necromancer? Oh, God. <laughs> We got the Council Ministry Vestimal. Vestimal? That's a French word, isn't it? Uh, well, that's from Codicus Manor, I think. And then we got the Forge Man Greaves from Sorrow's Embrace. Uh, so that is the Black Lion Chest. Oh, we did three Bloodstone dice as well. Didn't see them. So we got Mahogany, Green, and Lava. Very good. Lava is worth 7 copper. Green is worth 10. Uh, mahogany, 3. Right, let's go down to the water. We'll check out the new skiff. And then we have the new gem store items to follow as well. So, here we are on the new winged reverie skiff. And it looks very nice indeed. Get this up to full speed. Oh. Oh, and I hit the border. <laughs> but yeah, it looks pretty awesome. Let's get this back up. You've got quite a lot of space. It seems like our party is going to sit down here, but we'll go to a uh, a later spot just to see. Well, let's have a look at the dies. We'll start off with the default dies, which are Coco, Evening Red, Icing, and Eerie Purple. No, Matriarch Brass, I should say. Which is this look here. I love how the sails fold. That's really nice. I don't know if they do that on the regular skiffs. But that is a lovely little detail. Alright, I want to go this way. It's a shame they don't kind of adjust depending on your speed. And by that I mean like if you're in speed one, maybe you don't have the jib at the front up or something like that. But when you go to speed three, you get more. Something like that could be interesting. But we're facing strong currents again. Let's have a look at the individual die channels. So full shadow abyss, you can pretty much die most everything. Looks like the railing and some of the sort of uh, spines that the sails are attached to are not dieable. Top left is going to be the main part of the hull as well as those spines I just mentioned going through the sails. Top right is going to be the emblem and the flag on the top of I guess the center mast there. Kind of, even though it's not really a mast. It doesn't really that wouldn't really work. But anyway, um, you get the idea. The bottom left is going to be this sort of design on the outside of the hull. So going down the railing here and around on the aft. I'm sure there's a term for that that I just don't know. I'm trying to think. the for, Not veranda, is it? No. There's definitely a word for that that I just can't think of at the moment. And then bottom right is the main part of all the sails there. And all the sails must be the same color, which is kind of annoying. But I think a more weathered orange would look better there. Doesn't look too bad. The orange is a bit much. Maybe honey. Or we could go like tarnished silver. That looks pretty classical, I guess. Oh yeah, I left it in the, the, the bad colored of dyes. So here's a contrasting layer for the skiff. So we have blue on the top left, green on the top right. We have purple on the bottom left and orange on the bottom right. All right, let's check out the other new gear from today. 
So we also have three new Springer skins today, as well as a new outfit and a new staff. So yes, we have the new Elegant Canton outfit, which is very shadow busy here at the moment, as well as the new Elegant Canton staff there, which looks quite nice. Is that Suwon? It is, isn't it? It's definitely a salt spray anyway. Uh, that's pretty cool. I very much like that, actually. That's very intricate and yeah, it's very nice. So let's get the dyes onto default for this outfit. Which is just dye remover for this one. I don't know why sometimes it's dye remover, sometimes it's not, but there we go. Here's how it looks. Obviously, this is, this is with the Orene infusion and the emblazoned cape here at the back. But all in all, it looks quite nice. I like the uh, the shoulders, and yeah, it just looks like a very formal, eventy attire thing. That looks pretty cool. I don't know if the Asura feet has holes, or if it's just clipping through. It seems like it's more just clipping through at the moment. Which is annoying, but there you go. Let's have a look at the individual dye channels. So... Here is full Shadow Abyss. As you can see, everything is dyeable. Let's go. So here is top left on the outfit. It's mainly the, uh, I'd say the majority of the coat, a bit of the headbandy thing here, uh, or is it a crowny thing? I'm not too sure. And some of the shoes as well. Though actually, I'm just seeing this now. My toes are dyed black here. So the toes are technically part of the outfit, which is interesting. Top right is going to be sort of all of the kind of stitchingy bits and accenty bits around the coat and the headband and indeed the shoes. Bottom left is going to be the toes and the sort of the shoulders here, the fluffy bit around the shoulder as well as the collar there as well and the, the cuff around the, the wrist as well. Hmm. I don't like how the toes are just colorable. That's going to be really annoying for Asura. And then bottom right is sort of the underlayer, the gemstone on the headband, as well as, oh, there's a little pattern on the back there, and the trousers, of course. And here is a contrasting layer. So we have blue on the top left, green on the top right, purple on the bottom left, and orange on the bottom right. Very shiny, this uh, material is, actually. So that is the elegant Canton outfit, as well as the staff here, which does look really, really nice. Let's move on, finally, to the Springer. So we have three Springers today. We have the Stormy Cuckoo... Oh, God. <laughs> Springer, we have the Canton Cuckoo. And we have the Tiger Breasted Cuckoo. I think my favorite one is probably the Stormy one, to be honest. It looks pretty good. But we'll start off with the basic Canton one. Here we go. There is some unique sound effects here. Which is nice. It makes sense that they're going for a Springer, I think, because you're able to get Springer within Kantha, so I'm assuming Raptor is going to be the next one. But it looks fairly decent. This is, of course, with the, a weird dye pattern. It looks red on Shadow Abyss, which I assume was for the, the demon one I had on. Oh, that's the sky skill. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be a unique engage or disengage. Let's have a look at the dice. So default is mahogany with matte, black, and banana. The feet are huge because they're rabbit feet, I guess. It looks weird to have a bird. Oh, it does have a bit of a unique animation there. Uh, a bit of a, a cleaning of the feathers. Very nice. Let's go pure shadow abyss. We can see everything that we can die. Which looks like everything bar the saddle. And let's go individual die channels now. So, top left is going to be the top layer of the feathers. Ignoring the, the belly and the rear feet talons. Paws, not paws. Top right is going to be the belly and the tail, as well as some of the tips down here. Oh, and some of the eye, is it? 
And yeah, a little bit of the eye as well. Bottom left is going to be around the eye and the wings and as well the tail, but just not the tips of the tail. And bottom left is simply just the eyes. So here we have a contrasting layer. We have blue slash white here in the top left. It's very light blue. Green on the top right. We have purple on the bottom left and orange on the bottom right. Let's move on to the next one. Next up, we have the Tiger Breasted Cuckoo. It's a little higher pitch, I think, than the regular one was. Um, at least it seems like it is to me. A very similar design. Obviously, they're all based on the same bird, just different designs. I kind of like that idea, though. Getting a few more skins of the same variety. Oh, the way they walk or run, I should say, is very interesting. Keeping the, the short... Hmm. Short wings pulled back a little bit. Very nice animations. Let's have a look at the die channel. So this is the default dies here. And default is grapefruit, pastel honey, uh, mahogany and lime ice. Let's go full shadow abyss. That is full shadow abyss there. A little bit of red it looks like at the very bottom that you can't die. That's about it. That's also unique. Uh, idle animation there. Very nice. So, top left is the main part of the feathers, it seems. So, all the way across the body. From the tail, to the wings, to the legs. Just everywhere. Looks like the central line and the lines, the tiger pattern, are going to be the top right. A little bit of the top right, but there is still more to go. Let's have a look at the bottom left. Yeah, that's the main sort of accenty bits throughout the the body, the feathers of the bird. And then bottom right is the eye and some more pattern across the whole bird. There we go. So here we have blue on the top left, green on the top right, purple on the bottom left, and orange on the bottom right. Very good, and we have one more left to do. Does that have a little bit of a trail with the lightning? It does a bit when you're engaging, doesn't it? Nice. But this is the Stormy Cuckoo. And it looks pretty good. Let's have a look at the die channels. This is default. So we have Midnight Violet, Electro Blue, Celestial Blue, and Shadow Violet. We're going to go full Shadow Abyss. So you always have that electrical pattern no matter what the die is. You should be able to always see it. It looks like the saddle is going to be dieable here, which is very nice. Top left, we have the main body of the feathers. Top right, we have the lower part of the feathers. Bottom left, we have the saddle as well as the tips of feathers, especially around the eyes here. And on the tail. And bottom right, we have the eyes as well as the lightning effect, which does pulse throughout the whole body of the mount. Very cool. Even that looks pretty, pretty sick. And here is our contrasting image. So we have blue on the top left. We have green on the top right. And we have purple down on the bottom left with orange remaining on the bottom right. Oh, that's new. should have minimized the hood earlier, but that is the new uh, 
idle animation there. That looks pretty interesting. The bird overall. Right. Let's move on to uh, some other races and characters and check out maybe the skiff uh, and the mounts and the outfit, more importantly, on a few different races. Here we go. Here we are with the new elegant Canton outfit as well as the new Kel... I was about to say Keligant, but Canton Elegant uh, Staff on a Silvari. The dyes are very dark here. They are uh, Shadow Abyss. Let's go for another bit of purple there. It looks very nice on Silvari, very different. Again, quite formal, but also, yeah, quite dark. So it is. Let's brighten it up a little bit more. There we go, that's better. This doesn't help that this is a very blue map. <laughs> but here we are on Silvari with the new outfit and staff. Looks pretty good. Got a little dagger on the side there as well. Very nice. And that is the default, but Bloodstone Indigo in the top left. And then to get a bit of a feeling for the Cuckoo on Silvari, this is the sort of size you can expect. This looks pretty cool as well. This is Midnight Violet, T-Shade, Destroyer Orange, and Abyss. Very nice indeed. Let's move on to our next character. Here we go. And here we are on Human with new Elegant Canton Staff and Outfit. If I can't, there we go. Get my staff out. Looks very nice yet again. I think this is default colours again as well. Um, it is, it is indeed. Let's have a look at the Cuckoo on Human as well. Here we have the regular Cuckoo. Which is uh, pretty nice. It's got a very realistic colouring, I think. I'm not really sure. I don't really know what a cuckoo is supposed to be coloured, uh, feathers-wise. But, yeah, it's fairly good, I think. Let's go over here. So the dyes on the outfit are basic on the cuckoo. We have midnight blue, pastel honey, lime ice, and chocolate, which actually might be default as well, is it? No, it's not. It's very similar to default, though. Very similar. Let's also have a look at the skiff, if we can. So we can get into our skiff. Lovely stuff. Let's get ourselves into the skiff as well. Uh, there we are. So yeah, the other players can just sit in the one spot there. Uh, you've got four spots looking at each other on this skip, which is interesting, but there we go. And this is ooh, a greeny, blacky, goldy design. Whoa! That did a lot. So this is glossy glossy black, crisp mint, frostbite green, and Sunfire Lava. It looks pretty good. Let's move on to Char or Norn. Here we are on Char with a new outfit. Which is looking very red and yellow this time. And we also have the staff, of course. Which kind of looks interesting as a melee staff, but it's pretty nice. Nice. And then we also have the new Cuckoo mount this time. I'm going for the Tiger Breast Cuckoo on Char. The Char look huge compared to the Cuckoo bird. Uh, kind of expected, but also... Wow. How is Verizon not falling off? I do not know. There we go. Let's have a look at the dice. So the effort is Cherry with Cherry, Shadow Abyss, and Pyre. I think the little grey trim there will just transform it and make it look a lot better. 
overall. There we go, very nice. And the dies on the cuckoo, we've got Pitch, we've got Cherry, we've got Pooter, and we have Shadow Abyss. Pitch stocks are too low, sire. And yeah, there we have it. Let's move on to our Norn. Here we go. And here we are on Norn with the new outfit. Looking very oh, nice indeed. Kind of works well I'll with... Two, my good man. Drawer's cape, doesn't it? Because doesn't that have a bit of a... It does have a bit of a fluffy thing. So if you dye the fluffy thing the same as the other fluffy thing, that could be an idea. It could blend a bit better like that. I think the hair is still clipping through, so... You still find some clipping, but... Uh, it might blend nicely, those two. There we are. We don't have a staff on Warrior. Uh, so I might bop over to my Ranger once more. Very nice indeed. The dyes on the outfit are Bloody Red with Harvest Gold, Crimson Lion, and Celestial. Looks very cool. And then quickly, here is the staff on Norn. If I can get it out. There we go. Where is it? Oh, wait, am I... I'm not a druid, that would help. That would help. But there it is, looks really, really nice still. And let's go for the outfit real quick. Here is the outfit on Male Norn with a very dark sort of color. This is Chocolate Ruin, Glint's Isolation and the regular dye remover. Kind of looks nice in the light, though, doesn't it? Kind of looks good in the light, the darkness. Right, let's head back to Quando, wrap up the video. Here we go. Well, that is it for today's demo, guys. I do hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like if you did, and subscribe for more in the future. You can check out the Discord. The link for that should be down below. Stay up to date with all things new on the channel, such new videos when I go live, and our weekly screenshot challenge every weekend in Guild Wars 2. You can also support the channel through the membership program on YouTube. We will be back later on today with Super Adventure Box Live, but you can also check out the giveaway today with a chance to win the new Canton outfit as well as the new birds, if you'd like as well. Link for that should be in the end screen. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay safe, enjoy Sab, and take care.